So today's turnkey is is a pretty easy one, and it's it's just the idea that we come together as a community of practitioners to share what we're doing that's amazing within our rooms or in rooms that we've had the opportunity to observe. And in doing so, we take a minute to acknowledge the things that we're doing and that the things that we're proud of and to share them with each other in hopes that we can learn from each other and grow from each other and just enrich the, the students that we're working with by giving them uh, projects and ideas and lessons that are engaging. So the goal for today is that you leave with an idea that you can use moving forward in your room or a long-term goal of something that maybe doesn't fit with what you're doing right now this quarter, but maybe will in the future, or maybe even moving into next year and that you acknowledge something that you are proud of. So we're also building confidence in our own abilities to share with each other what it is that we are doing as educators. So I'm going to give you two examples of things that you can share um, that are occurring in our district and then open it up for you guys to share with each other what amazing things you are doing as a staff in your building. So this is a student interest and initiated project. It's a student created tank in life science and it was done by Jake Doth with some of his middle school students um, at Nikiski Middle High School. And uh, this is a type of project that he does often Often with kids in his advisory program or in his science classes and they'll come in and out at different times during the day to really finish the project but they build the whole background and they plant live uh, they plant live plants within the tank and then set up a system in here and you can kind of see him but right back in the back there's a frog in this tank and so this project was created as a student interest project and then it ended up finding its way into a fourth grade classroom and that fourth grade classroom is now using it um, as a cross content piece within their room and they are writing letters and doing research in the hopes of being able to uh, to get multiple fire belly toads with the hopes of being able to create a successful breeding program for toads, looking at the life cycle of those, uh, of those animals from egg through tadpole into frogs, and then be able to create a partnership with the local pet store that then takes on the babies that they raise in their room and, uh, and sells them to the pet store in exchange for the supplies to run their tank. Um, the second piece that we're going to look at is a video and you'll have the access to play this video, but this is a student created newsletter and it's done in Mrs. Baker's classroom. So it's done in my room, um, in a four or five multi-age class at K beach. It is student created parent content. And so the idea behind it is that as a teacher, I stopped writing the newsletters home and I gave the ownership of that to my students. And my students write the script, they take the photos, and then they create the slides. And then they are able to then share their month of learning with their families via a YouTube channel that we have set up in our classroom through the district. So in this, each student writes a section about the activities that are being done. Um, the students take pictures either on an old phone that's no longer subscribed to a service and just has a camera on it, so they can take pictures within their classroom and we can upload them to a shared drive between us. And then um, they can also take them using their Chromebooks. So we don't have a one-to-one -one set in our room, but we do have a handful of Chromebooks and the students can open them up and take pictures as they're working within the classroom. And they take pictures of every aspect of their learning, write about it and share with, that, uh, with their families. And so this is uh, something that you could easily do uh, at any age level with your students. Welcome to Board Plan's new newsletter. We decided that teachers who are working hard will be a great way to show you how to do this. So sit back and watch a sneak peek of the new over the last few weeks. Also, be on the lookout for more video newsletters that you must have to do this. First, take a look at the first one. So the video does get pretty quiet and it is a little bit longer. Having every student participate and having that equity component, um, they have a checklist to make sure each student is pictured. And then those that want to share about one section, they have to write up each little bit about it. And so it does take five minutes to go through the video, but you got to see kind of how the introduction works. And then from there, if you wanted to see the whole link, you can see it as it's in the presentation um, itself here. So 
We want to see what you are proud of and doing in your room. So share what you've brought with us and highlight how students use it in your room and why you're proud of it. It doesn't have to be something fancy. It could be a checklist. It could be um, a way that you are using assessment that your students are taking ownership of what they're doing. It can be anything that you are using that students are engaging with that is making learning enjoyable within your room. Um, when you have finished, take a minute at the end of this to think about what idea you can take away from today that can be used in your room or that you think another educator in your building might love trying and share it. 